Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to see how to create a lambda function that clean uh, all the Amazon access key and secret key for all uh, the users of your account. Why do you want to do that? Uh, there are many reasons like um, gener forced user to regenerate their keys or uh, start a key, um, a key rotation policy or you know that some key was compromised uh, and you want to clean. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see. Um, so what this uh, small Terraform uh, script will generate, we create like a, a lambda role, uh, two policies and uh, associate to the role and another use another default policy to associate to the role as well and a lambda function. So um, some uh, prerequisite, it's uh, Terraform is already installed, configured in your, uh, in your laptop, Git is installed, you choose a region, I choose Virginia, and uh, you know where is your credential file, mine is in this path, and uh, you, have, uh, you need to choose a prefix uh, that we put in all your resources, and uh, you know which is your email, EM, uh, I am user that you don't want uh, that, that you want uh, preserve from this uh, cleaning. So let's go to do it. Here there are the commands. Let's copy the first one and git clone after cd in the directory just created and do terraform in it as is plain here. And after that, we copy. I've already fill up. You don't forget to put here your values, not mine. I leave that as a sample, so the the resources are going to be created. And in few seconds, everything will be completed. I want to. So I have previously created uh, this the user that I'm, um, I'm where I'm working at the moment that I'm using to work at the moment, and uh, and instead these are other users that I use it for tests. Every of these user has one or two secret access key uh, and secret key, as you can see here. Let's test you as. So we're going, the lambda function will be delete this credential. Oh, we do that. So let's see if, yeah. So the temp, Terraform template was completed. So if we go to uh, lambda now, we can see that we will have two function. So this is the new function just created. If you enter and let's do this a little bit bigger there is the code if you want to read of course and there is the environment variable in this case i put like uh, my username but uh, let's suppose uh, that we want to add also the other user not delete to this not delete to this but for example, remember put a space between one user and another one, and save and test. So it will ask to create a, an event, not really important the name because this will not be used. But in the so, let's click test, and we can see in a few minutes the log. Everything is green, no error. There are some logs if you want to see all the user that were scanned test one which access key was uh, deleted let's see if this works so this is the page that uh, where the yum user let's try to refresh so the refresh this button doesn't really work in our case so we need to reload the uh, the page as as you can see here there is none because all the access key were deleted no result 
no result so to be sure that everything is working for example you can try to run again and we modify this value and save and test this is running again as you can see now the logs are shorter and uh, because not to not to delete is uh, is also cleaned and this key of the user not delete is was also cleaned as you know if you click here you can see the logs inside cloudwatch these are the two events this is the latest one and this okay so if you see here it seems that is not deleted also if we refresh it's still green and still show it but if you refresh the page you will see the reality that this user that this access key was deleted so if you are happy uh, you can also if you want also clean the environment is necessary to uh, is enough to a uh, terraform destroy force and every resource uh, lambda policy will be also cleaned and removed that's all thank you for watching